What is up guys, Delboy here. So this weekend obviously the big fight is between Gennady Golovkin and Danny Jacobs. But we also have a somewhat interesting fight at heavyweight between Erkan Sepa and Marius Vak. So I made a video I made a video trolling about Brook and Spence um, a minute ago. Um, just kind of trolling about the whole Vada thing. Maybe this fight needs fucking Vada testing man because ultimately... Both Marius Wack and Erkan uh, Tepa both fa both have failed drug tests, you know. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe Vada need to um, get involved in this one. So Erkan uh, Tepa versus Marius Wack. For what it is, it's a decent heavyweight fight. I think it could be quite fun. Um, and both guys are in need of a win, really, because ultimately Erkan uh, Tepa is coming off a surprise defeat to Christian Hammer. And, you know, in that fight, it was his first, well, his second fight after failing a drug test. And after that drug test, both times he looked terrible. You know, after he failed that test, both times against Derek Rossi and Christian Hammer, he looked pretty awful, you know. The power wasn't there. The intensity wasn't there. Just looked very average. And um, and Marius Wack failed a drug test back in the Vladimir Klitschko fight, um, which he lost, obviously. Um, so if you look at this fight, Erkan Tepper comes into this fight with a record of 16 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws, and 10 of those 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Marius Wack comes into this fight with a record of 32 wins, 2 defeats, 0 draws, and 17 of those 32 wins coming by way of knockout. If you look at both guys, um, you know, Erkin Tepper's most notable wins are against David Price and Johan Duapar, whereas Marius Wack's most notable wins, you'd argue, are Christian Hammer, Ty Fields, you know, um, Travis Walker. They're his best wins, in my opinion. So both guys have not exactly beat top 10 operators, but they're competent at a certain level. Um, and I'm really not sure how to call this fight because I felt I really felt Marius Wack looked awful last time out. I really did. And since um, and since uh, Marius Wack lost to Vladimir Klitschko back in 2012, he come back and had a few tune-up fights where he looked kind of mixed. He looked okay in some fights and looked terrible in the others. He then lost to Povetkin by a cut, I believe. And in that Povetkin fight, he, he was losing clearly, but he, he didn't look terrible, you know. And um, he came back to win against, in his comeback fight after Povetkin, he came back to beat Marcelo Nascimento, who's a Brazilian journeyman. And he didn't look good in that fight, according to reports. I've not seen it. So I think both guys are at the end of their careers. I think both guys are, you know... I definitely but put it this way, both guys are not going to get any better. Um, stylistically, I think I just about favour Marius Wack because he's a tough guy. I don't think Tepper can knock him out. And we saw in the Derek Rossi fight and in the Christian Hammer fight, after a few rounds, Erkin Tepper has like no imagination. His his punch output drops a lot. And Although Marius Wack's not exactly a slick fighter, he's not exactly a creative fighter, he's not exactly a dynamic fighter, Marius Wack is still going to pull that jab and he's still going to pick up the rounds, you know. Um, so, so yeah, I expect Marius Wack to win this fight in a close points decision. I think it could be quite a fun fight, maybe. And at the same time, I could see it being a bit of a stinker. But no, nevertheless, it's quite an interesting heavyweight matchup between... Two fringe contenders, two guys coming off failed drug tests. So, although to be fair to Marius Wack, his drug test was like five, well, four years ago now, five years ago. So, it's definitely not as relevant as uh, Erkin Tepper's because ultimately, Tepper's looked a lot worse since he failed that drug test, and Marius Wack looked exactly the same, really, you know. So. <laughs> Whether that says Marius Wack's on, still on drugs or whether Marius Wack just, regardless of PEDs, is never going to get any better, you can make that own sort of um, opinion yourself. But but yeah, I, I think it's an interesting fight. 
The winner can carry on with his career. The loser really got nowhere to go, really, you know. So it's an interesting fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably catch it up on YouTube sometime. I'm not going to watch it live because I'm sure there's not going to be a stream available. But I'll, 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 I'm sure I'm going to catch it somewhere. What do you guys think of this fight? Peace.